आई एम वर्किंग ऑन माई फर्स्ट कमर्शियल गेम अ थ्री डी टॉप डाउन एक्शन रोग लाइक एंड रिसेंटली आई हैव कम्प्लीटली ओवर होल्ड द गेम्स आर्ट टेकिंग इट फ्रॉम दिस टू दिस ओ एंड इन द मिस्ट ऑफ दैट आई मे हैव गॉट एन अबिट कैरिड अवे एंड क्राफ्टेड एन इंटायरली न्यू एरिया फॉर प्लेयर्स टू एक्सप्लोर बट बिफोर वी डेल्व इन टू दैट आई वॉन्टेड टू मैंशन दैट आई हैव सेट अप द स्टीम स्टोर पेज फॉर दिस गेम इट वुड मीन द वर्ल्ड टू मी इफ यू कूड टेक अ मोमेंट टू विश लिस्ट इट ऑल्सो इन फ्यूचर डेवलॉक्स आई प्लान ऑन शेयरिंग स्टीम स्टैटिस्टिक्स एंड विश लिस्ट काउंट्स सो फील फ्री टू सब्सक्राइब इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कीप अप विद द डेवलपमेंट जर्नी नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट वाई आई फेल द नीड टू स्विच अप द आर्ट डायरेक्शन इनिशियली द विजुअल्स लीन्ड अ बिट टू हैवली इन टू अ कार्टूनी स्टाइल with overly saturated colors and a minimalistic look which didn't quite match the action adventure kind of vibe i was aiming for although i still want to maintain the minimalistic look for a couple of reasons a it's easier to develop as i don't need to create tons of assets to fill the screen and b it makes it easier to track all the action amongst the chaotic gameplay for the players So here are the changes that I made. First off, I toned down the saturation, which alone made it look less cartoony. But then the real issues started to surface. Take the grass, for example. Individually, they look great when modeling, but zoom out a bit and they just didn't cut it. So I tossed them out and started looking into other games for inspiration. Eventually, I settled on this square-shaped texture approach for the grass using a simple texture image with a shader to control the color blending with the ground. I also created multiple versions in size and textures. Now, we have got this. Now, I may have gotten a bit overboard and added some interactivity. You can actually cut the grass now. How this works is that i am swapping out the tall grass with smaller variants and playing a particle effect for some extra juice i definitely did not spend more than a few hours just perfecting this very important feature okay moving on to the level design i previously didn't have a clear theme in mind but this time i have doubled down on the theme aspect like the green area is supposed to be a forest area right So I added the first thing that comes to mind with forest fluffy bushes and flowers and yes the trees though it took a few attempts to get them just right I also added a cookie for the dappled sunlight effect to give that dense forest feeling and trust me it's what ties the whole forest vibe together By the way if you are interested in how i achieved this effect check out this video now after all these changes i noticed that the player and enemies were blending a bit too much with the background making it a bit hard to track so i looked into ways to make the character models stand out a bit more eventually stumbling upon tone shaders and i was like this is it for the tone shader I'm using a similar approach to this video with some tweaks particularly for the dissolve effect and the hit effect. So now the enemies and the characters definitely pop from the background. Now you would think I would stop there but no. Nope. I went ahead and made a whole new area. And surprisingly it was easier than I thought. I just had to tweak the existing assets with the right color combinations. and add some area specific assets for this area i am going for more of a mysterious vibe maybe it's the remnant of an old civilization or maybe it's the creation of something new or perhaps it's where the game will build up to definitely not trying to create some curiosity for the lore for this area i am planning on not having any bounds around the level so essentially you can throw enemies down into the abyss or If you are not careful it might be you who gets thrown down this might change with play testing feedback though implementation wise i'm still using the terrain system 
just using a small trick that is to make the terrain start below zero in the y direction and use the fixed height to paint out the area. I also added this fog effect which is a simple shader and gives this area an ominous and mysterious vibe. And I implemented this tither see through effect. So now you can always track the player and the enemies even behind obstructions. So this is where I am at right now. Overall, I am happy with the changes and I think the game visually looks unique. Now I need to make the combat fun and fast paced to make the game actually stand out. I also worked on the skill system and status effect system. So expect more on that in future devlogs. Again guys don't forget to wishlist the game on steam. As I mentioned earlier, I plan on sharing the wishlist count in every devlog and I also plan on having some interesting tutorials and sharing my game dev experience and progress on this game. If any of this sounds interesting to you, subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it. And I would like to hear your thoughts about the game or any suggestions you have in the comments below. Thanks for watching.